In the past months, we've seen a tremendous amount of AI-generated content that actually keeps everyone in awe of what AI can do. From cinematic content, unimaginable artworks, it is just impressive what AI can actually create with nothing short of a simple sentence. And today, we're seeing that Stable Diffusion is now available for Blender, which gives us creative prowess, as this now allows you to create AI-generated seamless textures and it is super impressive. So for anyone who would like to get this and actually get started with it, there's going to be a link in the description that will bring you over to Carson Cartridge's page where you'll be able to download the Dream Texture. Now this iteration of the Stable Diffusion for Blender is one variant, there is also another beautiful variant made available by Carlos Barreto. But today we're going to take a look at the Dream Texture which just simply changes the way you think about creating textures and working with AI tools directly in Blender. So how you get started with this is super simple, all you need to do is come over to this page and then you can proceed proceed to use the git tool to download this file as a zip file or you can simply go over here and download this as a simple zip. And once you download this file, the next which you need to do is to open up Blender. But in this case, you need to open up Blender by simply using the administrative right. Accept the terms and then Blender opens. Once Blender opens, go over to Edit, go over to Preference and install the Dream Texture add-on. Once you install the Dream Texture add-on, you'll find out that there is a platform section where you get to select the platform of choice that you want to work with. In this case, we're using Linux slash Windows and this will require us to install some dependencies. Bear in mind that these dependencies will take a while since they're going to download a whole bunch of things by simply using the terminal and once that is done you need to download the stable diffusion version 1.4 control point file and how you get this is super simple click on the link it takes you to the hugging face page and then you need to accept the terms and condition click on the control point file that brought you there and that will download this is about a 4 gig of data so just simply keep that in mind when downloading this file once that download go over to blender and click on the next button that simply opens up a folder where you need to copy the downloaded stable diffusion file into now the control file that you're copying which you just downloaded needs to be renamed and it has to be renamed with the name model instead of the SDV1-4. So rename this to model automatically. Once you return back to Blender, you would notice that you have a brand new button called validate installation. That button is the right button for you to press at this point, And this would automatically validate the installation that you have. And if everything checks out, you are good to go. And finally, all you now need to do is click on the bugger menu, click on save. And there you have it. You've just installed the dream texture. And from here, you can now do some amazing amazing things. So how this works is super easy. I'm just going to go ahead and close this and this doesn't work within the section that's for sure. So you may need to click right here and switch over to the image editor. So once you switch over to the image editor, contrary to tapping N on the keyboard and flipping back and forth, you can just go right here. And I kind of wish that they simply drop this right here. It's just a humble request if they're listening. But right here, if you click on the dream texture and you click on this button that says dream texture, you can start dreaming, right? So first things which we're going to take a look at is creating that seamless texture. So for textures, let's say we're looking for a brick texture. You know, that's very basic. Everyone looks for brick textures. We need a 512 by 512. We want this to be seamless for sure. And then we're just going to click on OK and let the magic begin. Now, this is going to take a 25 step because that is what we've set it to be. And I kind of think that 25 is a sweet spot. So it's just going to run from one all the way to 25. And once this is done, we have ourselves some very nice brick texture. Now, how do you see this as seamless? Simple, tap in on the keyboard, go over to view, click on repeat, and you can see very, very seamless. So at this point, you no longer need to go onto Google to start searching for seamless textures, especially if you like to tile things across. Now we can even generate even way more things than this. So if we go back to dream and we type in stones, I think stones are good. Increase the number of steps. Yes, you can. If you also want to increase the width and the height of the texture, this is also something that you can do. So I'm just going to let this be for the purpose of this video and click on OK. So once we do that, allow the magic to work. And right now we have some very nice stones. You can have many iterations of this. So let's simply allow this to pop through and you can see that we are now having something looking pretty nice. So once you have this going, the next possible thing you want to do is apply this on a surface. And to actually get this to work, we would simply go back to the 3D viewport. In this case, I'm just going to lose that and I'll throw in a simple plane. So let's drag out a brand new panel, switch these over to your shader editor and then click on new. Right here, you might want to do a simple drag, type in the word image and press the enter button. And once you do that, 
click on the drop down. Remember what we had before, which is the stones. This is number four. Click right there and you have it. Now, in terms of extending this, say, for example, you like to extend this stuff, what you can do is simple, press the tab key to have this entire thing selected, click on the options, click on correct faces and keep connected. And once you do that, tap two on the keyboard, select any edge, tap E, and you can see that. So at this point, you can just simply stretch these bad boys all the way out. Automatically, you just created a texture which is seamless and you can apply this entirely however you want on any given surface when working in Blender. And if you'd like to see more, you can of course go ahead and create more stuff. We're looking for tree backs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do tree backs. And we'll like a seamless tree back texture, click on okay. And it will give us something that looks pretty nice. And this looks nice. So if we'd like to also see tile, we can tap N on the keyboard, go over to view, turn on repeat image, and you can see it. We would like to get even more stuff, of course we can. So we can also go ahead and get some roof tiles. I think roof tiles are also pretty nice. Lots of people do love this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and seek for some roof tiles. And with this, you can see we have some roof tiles and for sure you can always go through and get some very interesting versions of a particular set of prompt and at any point in time you can also choose to play with the samplers but i'm just going to let this be click on ok and we can generate something else so you can go ahead and explore with all of this and create different kinds of textures that might come in very handy that you might want to work with and this is not limited to what kind of textures you can create it is technically limited to what kind of prompt you give it to create The Dream Texture also does a lot more. And from here, you can see it has some stuff for photography. It also has some stuff for concept art. I'm just going to start off by doing my very favorite maple button on the table. That's the photograph we're looking for. You know, add dramatic light if you want to. We would like to have this as a fully colored image, which is for sure. Overhead view is something I don't really know if that's what we want. We're just going to let things be the way they are. Click on OK and allow the magic to happen. Now, the mistake which we just made is we went ahead to let this be on seamless now we don't want to have it seamless so we're just going to go ahead and change it but for sure it makes sense if it's seamless especially if you want to use this as a texture but we don't want that so i'm just going to go ahead and turn the seamless all the way off and let's look at these from a low angle let's see, maybe we can get something nicer click on ok and we would also proceed to also take out this uh, stuff from the view section because from that view section we need to make sure that it's not repeating the entire image. So we have some very nice maple syrup directly inside Blender. So I'm just going to turn this off and you can see that. So if you're trying to generate things, let's say you're trying to generate a mechanical stuff, of course you can. So I can uh, do the very popular mechanical bug. Okay. And yeah, we can also have that mechanical bug on a wooden table all right so let's do that we can do the mechanical bug on a wooden table press ok see what we get looking pretty and this also applies to so many other things so if you go over to the dream textures you click on the dream textures you can also use an initialization image so if you click right here you can open up the image you can fit it in you can do whatever you want and one thing to keep in mind is the size of your configuration also matters how much ram or how long this is going to take so if I simply pop up our task manager right here, let's go ahead and grab that so you guys can see. You can see how much it is uh, cutting out of this. So I'm just going to minimize that and increase this a little bit more. So I'm just going to set this 1024 by 1024. So we already have this. Let's go ahead and change the seed. Maybe a minus six might be cool. All right. So I'm just going to let things be the way they are. Click on OK and we would wait. Now, while this is running, let's pop up that tax manager one more time so that you guys can see what we have. So once I pop this up, you see it's hitting a lot, okay? So we already have like a 16 gig dedicated memory and it's feasting on that. What I would recommend is have like a four to an eight gig GPU if you're thinking about starting out with this. Of course, this doesn't really impact so much on your RAM because at this point you can only see the RAM just went up a little bit. But if you do have a GPU, especially if you like to expand this image or maybe you just want to increase it. But we've already talked about about how you can use tools like the SGAN. So in case you haven't seen that, there's going to be a link in the description 
and also a card somewhere you can use tools like that to scale up your entire image which would allow you get something really really cool so instead of going 1204 you can simply do 512 by 512 and get a smaller image which you can proceed to scale all the way up something else which is also worth mentioning is dream texture also has a couple of other presets so just in case you like to create photography stuff or maybe you like to create concept art you can proceed to put in a simple prompt within the subject section and define the subject type that you're looking for define the genre and get the AI to work and there are just tons and tons of things that you can generate and for those who are thinking about how to create prompts there is actually a website that can get you up and running this website is known as the Promptomania and all you need to do is click on try the prompt builder and then you can select any of the AI diffusion model that you want and since we're using stable diffusion we're just simply going to select that then we can put in the subject select the base detail for the style and we can add some more details in terms of how we like this to be created and we can put a certain artistic style and all you need to do once you have every single thing done is to go all the way down and click on copy now this copy is just going to copy the entire thing for you and you can go all the way back to dream textures paste that and then you can start generating stuff and with these tools you can generate endless artworks and you can also generate endless seamless textures at the same time when you're generating these things for example we're dealing with concept art in most cases once you have a lot of description you will definitely have a much more detailed image so certain times it might be helpful especially when you have a full definition of the kind of lengths you want the type of characters you want especially if you need multiple characters i would suggest you use the custom where you can throw in a long detail set of things and this would also help you generate even way better images than you will get if you simply confined these things to this predefined ones of course these ones are here to help you get things happening faster the same thing with the concept one but in many cases the one the custom one will get you something working on the other hand i would also suggest that you explore with the samplers as these are different sampling types that you can use to generate an image. Go through and explore with this, explore with the photography one, the concept one, but if you do have like a long list for your prompt, or maybe you did generate a long list of prompts, then I would suggest to use the custom and generate some fantastic looking images and also some fantastic looking textures. So this is more like it for those who like to take a look at this i'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you over to carson's and carlos's sub page where you can download the variants of these tools and start creating some amazing images directly in blender and for anyone that is looking for pre-made fully ready materials that they can use in blender then you might want to consider checking out the real-time materials for blender from docky 3d as this has about 40 materials that you can pick up and start working with totally for free and you might also want to check out santos library as he has a good number of materials and of course some shader tools that you can use to create and make your next artwork better Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Links to all of this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.